In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 on PC or laptop. So the first thing you want to do is download Steam, which is basically an app that lets you buy, download, install and then play games. So the way you do this is simply by going to Google and typing in Steam. Once you do this, you want to go to the link which is store.steampower.com and click on Welcome to Steam. Then once you do this, you want to click Install Steam up here in the middle. And then you want to select your platform you want to install to, so the one you're using. For me, it's Windows, so I'll press over here where it says Install Steam. This will then automatically download the Steam Setup.exe for you. You want to open this up. And then once this pop-up kind of appears, you want to click Next first. Select your language, click Next yet again. And then you want to install or select the destination folder for the installation of Steam. You can leave this as it is or change it if you want to, it doesn't really matter. And then you want to press install. Steam will then automatically install to your computer. I'm going to close this down though because as you can see I have it already installed here on my laptop. So I'll close this down and move this away over here. And then what you have to do next is simply open up the Steam app and then it will ask you to either log in or create an account. So if you don't have an account yet, simply create one and then log in with your username and password. Once you've done this, you should see the exact same screen I'm at right now. If you don't, click store up here on the left and we're good to go. Then you want to go up here to the search box here on the right and type in Warhammer. And as you can see, it already pop something pops up. What you want to do is uh, type in the entire name of the game. So let's say you just want to type in Warhammer Space Marine 2. Okay. Now simply press enter. And this will open up kind of a list over here as you can see. And what you want to do is over here you want to click this gear icon. And click view unfiltered search results. Then once you do this you want to uncheck this where it says hide ignored items. And as you can see the first thing on the list is now the Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. You want to click it and that's the actual game. In here, you want to then scroll down until you see different options. You can buy Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2, either Standard, Gold or Ultra Edition. So you can choose whichever you want. Here are the prices and then once you pick one, all have the exact same procedure of buying. I'll show you right now and as well as downloading and installing. So just pick one you want and click Add to Cart. In here, you want to click View My Cart, and then you want to select if you want to buy it for either your account or as a gift for somebody else. So if you want to buy it for your account, click here. As a gift, click here. I'm going to click for my account and press Continue to Payment. And then I'm going to select the Payment Method from the drop-down menu. So you can select whichever you want, doesn't really matter. Just pick one and then click Continue. And then you will go through the entire checkout process, pay for the game and buy it. And once you've done that, the game will be added to your Steam library. Now, you can access the game by clicking Library up here, and then checking Games here on the left, and then you can look for your Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 game. Click on it, and press Install over here, this blue button. Then you can select if you want to create a desktop shortcut or a start menu shortcut, and you can select to which drive you would like to install the game. So for me, only C drive is available because I only have the C drive. If you have multiple, you can choose to which one you would like to install. Once you've done this and clicked it, press install and the game will automatically be downloaded and installed to your computer. Once that's done, you'll receive a notification to Steam and then uh, you can basically open back up the screen and you'll see that there's now a big green play button on your screen. You simply want to click this big green play button and the game will launch up and you can start playing.